Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Today's session agenda is random forest in machine learning. For the random forest, we have to use a case study. And this case study, we have to predict the species of the features using machine learning. And for this, we have to take a data set the data set name is iris iris is a part of sklearn so we can start with all the essential libraries first we have to call iris data set with the help of from sklearn dot data set import load underscore iris with the help of this command you can load open source iris data set after that you can import random forest classifier this is a main part of this study that is random forest classifier after that we can import numpy numpy is basically used for numerical analysis and machine learning after that we can import pandas pandas is basically used to settle all the row column arrangement all the buffering data buffers so after this we can just click the run button so we can see there is no output but it shows no error so this is our first task this task name is import all essential libraries in second phase we have to create a data frame with four features variable of iris data set that is very simple we have to use df df is a data source name that means df equal to pd dot data frame bracket iris dot data column equal to iris dot features names that means we have to show now we have to create data frame of iris data set for this we have to write df df is a data source name equal to pd dot data frame within a bracket iris dot data and column equal to iris dot features name that means we have to use all the features name after that we have to write df dot add and just click run command then show the result so with this command there is a four column of iris data set with four features name column number one two three and four for bigger picture we can use just this comment and uh, we have to print entire iris data set so just check click the run button so we can see this is the entire data set of iris there is a huge data set you can see this is a huge data set of iris one more thing we can also check its features name just write iris dot features name and just click run button wait this one is the features name of iris data set one more thing you can also check target values of iris just type and uh, run so this is the target values of iris data set and suppose you want to print target names then simple type print iris dot target names and click run button so this is the target name citosa versicolor virginica these are target name of iris data set so after that we can comment all the statement and just write df dot add command and press run so this is the current scenario so i think data set is clear in terms of features name in terms of target in terms of target values so after that we can add new column for the species name so just you have to mention the column name with respect to data set that is very simple df with a single code mention the column name the column name is species pd dot categorical form quotes iris dot target comma iris dot target values that means it's a part of target or target values after that we have to write df dot add and just run so we can see there is a five column in the scenario one column is added the column name is species and the value is citosa 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 just because the column name based on target or target values for bigger picture you can also mention more record just path 30 and then you can use run command so we can see this is the 30 records 
so just remove this and go to the past so picture is clear now new column is added column name is species and add all the target values there are three type of target values setosa particular virginica after that we have to create testing and training data that is very simple just use new column name new column name is strain is underscore train with respect to data source name equal to np dot random random is a random values dot uniform 0 comma 1 length df bracket less than equal to 0.75 for this command that is very simple the data set or this column is divided into two values 0 and 1 that means either true or false if 75 percent of training set is satisfy this condition that means turns true otherwise returns false so we can check with the help of this command df dot add just to use run we can see there is another column is trend and the value is top 5 record is true 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 for bigger picture we can put more values or more record and then please run and you can see if some values is true and some values is false because the ratio is 75 and 25 that means 75 percent is true values and 25 percent is false values so this task almost done so next is very important task that means creating data frame with test rows and training rows that means you have to create data frame on the basis of training set or on the basis of testing set that is very clear df is train that means it return true and df is train second case it returns false so we can see the total number of observations in training set and the total number of observation is testing set so just we can click run option so we can see there is 114 records of training set and 36 is a testing set just because the ratio of training set and testing set is 75 and 25 that means 75 percent is a training data and 25 percent is a testing data on the basis of true and false values or we can say that 114 values of true and 36 values of false right after that we can create a features column name so we can simply write features equal to df dot columns up to four that means top four columns just write print and go to the run option so we can see a columns name all the columns names after that there is a big challenge because in case of machine learning the numerical data now we have to convert species in a string form into a numeric form so just we have to write y is equal to pd dot factorize train species zero and just click run option then we can see all the values of species is convert to numerical form that means there are two forms three forms in fact 0 1 and 2 we can see in the results because there are three values of species setosa versicolor and virginica so that's why it's converted into 0 1 and 2 next step is like creating a random forest classifier it's a very simple step just call clf equal to random forest classifier random forest classifier is a part of sklearn so we can use here that is random forest classifier and jobs equal to 2 and random state equal to 0 there is no random state and jobs equal to 2 so it's very simple after that training the classifier that means you have to fit the classifier with respect to features that is very simple clf dot fit train features comma y so we can see the output of this code that is very simple so we can see tandem forest classifier bootstrap is equal to true bootstrap is a technique to estimate statical analysis of population by sampling the data set by default class weight is equal to none criteria is a guinea guinea means guinea is a part of decision tree maximum depth is equal to none maximum features is auto it's by default maximum leaf node equal to none minimum impurity decrease 0, 0.0 minimum impurity split none minimum samples leaf 1 minimum sample split 2 minimum weight friction leaf 0, 0.0 
an estimator 10 an estimator is 10 means there is a 10 tree in the random by default there is a 100 tree in a random forest but in this case an estimator is equal to 10 that means there is 10 tree in the forest and job equal to 2 that there is a two values of job OAB score is false, random state is equal to 0, that means there is no random state in this classifier and uh, BARB was equal to 0, BARB was basically used to fitting and prediction and warm state is false. After that, we can apply trained classifier to the test. It's very simple command, just write test in terms of features and then click this run button, then we can see there are three values 0, 0, 1, 1 and 2, 2 because 0, 1 and 2 it represent to Setosa, Versicolor and Pergenica. After that we can predict probability of the first 10 observations. For this simply write CLF dot predict proba. Proba means it's a probability test features that means we have to test features and features is 0 colon 10 that means we have to check first 10 features just write and then click run option so we can see there is a features 1 0 0 1 0 0 you can also predict next 10 features with the help of clf predict underscore proba it's a probability test features 10 colon 20 that means it's the next 10 records we can see this is the features name like 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0.5 and 0, 0.5. So we can see this data set there is two values is similar 0, 0.5 is 0, 0.5. That means after this we can go for voting process. So voting is favored to 0, 0.5. After that there is a next step. Next step is very important because with the help of this step we can mapping the test feature on the prediction basis so just prats is a variable name equal to iris dot target name clf predicts test features so we can use first five records so just pass zero comma zero column five values and just we have to write test species dot add with the help of this command, we have to view the actual species for the first five observation. Just click and run. So we can see the first five observations. The record number is 7, 8, 10, 13, and 17. And species name is Sitosa, 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 Sitosa. After that, we have to create a confusion matrix. Confusion matrix is a row column arrangement. For this, we can just write PD dot cross tab test species comma prat comma row names is actual species and column name is prediction species that means this confusion matrix is based on two values first in actual species and second one is predicted species first one is row names and second one is a column names so now 30 is the accurate prediction and 2 is a inaccurate predictions we can see in this record there is a prediction species Setosa, Versicola, Virginica. The second one actual species that is 13000520012. So we can see the diagonal number 13 plus 5 plus 12 that is 30 and 2 is different. So now 30 is the accurate prediction and 2 is inaccurate prediction. So the model accuracy is very clear that is 30 divided by 22 into 100 that means 93% accuracy of this model. That means this is our first achievement in terms of accuracy with the help of random forest. So next we have to predict some values with the help of this command like predict equal to iris dot target underscore name clf dot predict that means we have to predict here yeah, we have to add some values in numerical form is the first this is the second one after that use run command so we can see there is a two values versicolor versicolor that means that is very clear our result is clear in terms of random forest that means we have to find the accuracy so the accuracy is 93 percent and the features name like versicolor versicolor 
this is the result of a random forest thank you so much for watching please leave your questions in the comment section down below make sure to like share and subscribe to student learning check out more courses from us and follow us on instagram facebook twitter basically everywhere the link is always in the description we will be back with more lectures stay tuned and have a good day bye